It's been such a strange, warm October here. Maybe it's been weird where you are as well. Since this is only my second autumn here, I actually had to look back at photos from last year to remind myself what the weather was like and to confirm that, yeah, this October is a little different. I had some friends come to visit last week and we decided to hike up a mountain and try and find some signs of autumn at a bit of a higher altitude. I've definitely lost some fitness over the last month that I've been recovering from surgery, but it was great to finally feel like I was getting back to normal. Although I've complained constantly about not being able to do the things I want to do, the experience of this last month has really given me so much appreciation for my body, for everything it can do and for its capacity to heal. I really never thought I would be grateful for something as simple as to be able to roll over in bed or drink a glass of water without getting horribly bloated, but here we are and yeah, I really hope I never take those things for granted again. Anyway, although this eerily warm autumn is kind of making it feel like winter might just never even arrive this year, it definitely will and these warm days have given us a bit of extra time to crack on with some of the winter preparation. It's definitely been a silver lining because there are still so many things left to do and I did lose about a month of work. <laughs> We heat our house using firewood, which means not only making sure we have enough wood ready for the winter, but also some regular maintenance of our wood burning stove to keep the flue free of soot and residue. We took the stove out of the house and disconnected the flue, which we cleaned using a special brush attached to a drill. We also took the chance to give the stove a good clean inside and patch up part of the flue where the join wasn't perfect. Since the flue isn't the full length of the chimney, we also cleaned the chimney as well. To do this we had to get up on the roof um, and kind of sweep out the chimney from top to bottom. Given that we had no idea when this might last have been done, it really wasn't too bad, but we do think that we will get an additional section of flue next year to make it taller so that we don't have to worry about cleaning the chimney in the future because it was a bit of a dirty, difficult job. To prevent the entire house from becoming covered in soot while we cleaned the chimney, we taped up the fireplace before we started and we sprayed inside with water to help all the dust and the soot settle before hoovering it up. Thank you so much to our neighbours who came to help us out with this. Um, at this point I was still not really doing anything too heavy, so we were really grateful for the extra pair of hands to help us lift and move the stove and climb up onto the roof. It feels really good now to be going into the colder months, uh, hopefully with a lot less chance of having a chimney fire and with a nice fresh clean stove to start with. stuff that I want to plant today. Firstly some perennial flowers and herbs in this little area here right in front of the house. I've tried planting all sorts of things in this bed um, and came to the conclusion that it's just the most useful space for herbs actually because it's right outside the kitchen so that's what I'm trying to kind of transition it to and I also want it to be like a permanent bed and not always have like young things in it because the dogs and the cats seem to like playing in this area a lot so when there's small things here they just get trampled so we're going to try and plant it out with things that will be perennial and we'll just take up all the space. 
Also got lots of things in seed trays to go out. Um, and we also bought our autumn trees for this year. So the trees that we want to plant this autumn. We only do a few each year, or at least that's our plan because we're still watering them with the watering cans by hand. So each tree takes quite a lot of attention until it's established. So we've got four, we've got um, an apple, two types of pears, and we've got a medlar tree, which I had heard of the medlar fruit, but I'd never really had an idea of what it looked like or thought about it as something to grow. But I saw the tree and I thought that could be interesting. The plants I want to plant today we've got some peas and some broad beans we've got quite a few more peas here as well if I can find space for them but they could do with going out as well and some tomatoes I don't know why I've still got tomatoes in the middle of October but I don't know here they are I might as well plant them and see what happens you never know So I bought as well some little succulents to go in these blue planters which we've had outside the kitchen for a while. I did originally have some herbs in here but they didn't do very well. These pots are actually not very big and they just dried out too quickly. Here's the remains of some coriander which actually I might be able to save some of these seeds. Looks like a seed coriander but yeah. I thought succulents are probably a better option for these small little pots. plant our final tree today. This is the second one of the pears. I already planted the others um, the other day with some friends. The others have all gone in like the back of the kitchen garden area where I don't need any more beds, I just want trees. And this one is going to replace one of our trees from last year which has sadly died. It was an apple tree, don't know what was wrong with it, it was just never very healthy. So I'm going to pop this pear in where it was.
on out of the way. Okay, so there's a couple of things we wanted to do with this roof. The first one was fix some of the tiles which are coming off. Um, rats just get in there and pull all the stones and the canyons apart and make a mess and they dislodge the tiles as well, that's why the tiles are off. Oh, you're in the back of my video. And yeah, it's leaky. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Um, we lived through last winter with it being a bit leaky, but we would like to put these tiles back in place and fix them. Um, Thing is though, it's a bit waspy up there. Wasps live under the tiles and although I haven't seen any wasps flying in and out yet today, sometimes it's quite active and waspy here. So I'm gonna go up on the roof, I'm gonna see what's going on. I've got my wasp spray just in case. I don't think we'll actually fix the tiles until maybe a cooler month like November because uh, I think it is just too risky with the wasps at this time of year. But there is something else I wanna do up there anyway. Okay, we'll just stop for a minute to have a look around. So this is what we need to do. We need to put a topper on this chimney because it's just open as you can see and when it rains heavily we get a lot of water down here as you can imagine okay um bring four Are they all the same size So we're just planning what we want to build on the chimney down here. Got some old bricks. Um, yeah, I think this should work. Got it. Okay, it's uh, <laughs> it's done doesn't look super beautiful but I think it'll do the job I just can't decide whether to get some more cement and cover up these bits which I didn't quite have enough cement for Mal does it look really ugly from where you are I'm wondering whether to cover like to completely cover it in cement or not at the minute it's not completely covered I think it's solid enough though shall I leave it then yeah. okay job done Okay, job not quite done. I've just come back up here to fix the big hole that was exposing the rafter because I'm pretty sure that's where we get a big leak from. So might as well fix that while we're here. I've got a big mix of cement that's very rubbly. We've chucked a load of rubble in it to fill up this gap. Um, that's all we're going to do. When we actually do fix these tiles and take out any of the loose ones and re um, cement them, we'll be using like a lime mix because lime apparently expands and contracts with water and weather and heat and stuff like that, which is what the tiles themselves do as well um, because it's like a natural material as are the tiles. Yeah, I don't really know, but that's just what we have been told by people who have the same kind of roof. So that's what we're going to do. But for now, we don't have the lime um, or know how to use it. So just to fill this hole, it's just cement with rubble in it. OK, 
Okay, we're done. I've just patched up this bit of roof here, so between that and the chimney, that should hopefully get us through another winter. I'm gonna get down now, but um, I kind of don't want to. It's kind of nice up here. I think you can see behind me probably the ruin. Yeah, I'm kind of at the same height as the ruin, um, as the back of the ruin at the moment. It's built into like a rocky wall. So the back of it is like a lot higher than the front. And yeah, it's just nice to be up here and look at the views and imagine that these are the views that we would get from the top room in the ruin if and when we decide to do something with it. Um, gonna get down now. So we've got a new stove for the teepee, for the bell tent. Um, we've got visitors coming in here staying next week, so it's getting a bit chilly at night, so we thought a stove would be a good addition here. We'd been wanting it for a while. Um, now we've just got to set it up. I'm going to move it from here onto the pallet and pop the pipes in. <laughs> the pipe was just five millimeters bigger than the hole which was a bit annoying so i've just had to open it up a bit and now i guess i need to kind of sew this back in place because that's the that's the like heat resistant part Actually, needs to move a bit forward. Oh, okay. There we go. There's something so satisfying about fixing up the teepee. And now it is ready for visitors. As you can see, I'm still working on the new wood store. I'm just extending it more in this direction. This little kind of mini section in the middle that I'm doing is, well, I'm thinking it's gonna be for kindling. And then I'll do two more bigger sections for green wood. Putting a little small section in here also just means I don't have to try and get a post in the area where there is a big concrete slab on the ground, so we'll be able to skip that. This is just a nice little job to do. Um, it's not really a priority now since I've done the first section, so we have actually got somewhere to store our wood, which is the main point. But extending it so that we've got some space to store green wood is just, yeah, I'm just enjoying doing it. It's really easy. It's a simple job. I know what I'm doing now, so when I have a spare moment, it's just, yeah, something I can easily crack on with. Mm -hmm. 